preaching from the third seat. It's almost like uh, Shiva's third eye. <laughs> My school, we have visually challenged blind students. And I always think when you close the eyes and meditate, it's the third eye which opens, means <laughs> in the emptiness, truth prevails because there's so much deeply involved. And I always tell the Shiva Master created this blind students in the in his form. And so that when both eyes are closed, the third eye opens. And that was the truthful eye. All other eyes are mm, borrowed knowledge. <laughs> they are able to see, but they are not able to observe. 25th story from the Gagler's Gate, from the book Zen, Flesh, Zen, Bones, written by Paul, preaching from the Third seed in a dream, Kyosin went to Maitreya's pure land. Pure land. What is the pure land? The land which our Samskriti, our culture has been created and it flows. The moment children see the father and mother, children see the uncle and auntie, children see the elder brother, elder sister, they, immediately the body automatically bows and touches the feet because that bowing creates a flexibility for the spinal column. There won't be stomach. When the spine is strong, you can live longer without diseases. When the stomach is gone, you don't carry a waste basket. <laughs> for that was the bow. So they automatically bow. So several times in a day, they keep bowing. They, the Zen, they say, the snow falls on the bamboo shoot. And the bamboo shoot bows to the weight of the snow. And the snow is out and the bamboo shoot is back to positions. The, bo the bow is very important. The bow, the weight goes. You have the respect. You have the exercise. You have your medical cost cut down. And then you are back to positions with a smile that we two are one to the elders. In a dream, Kyosan went to Maitreya's pure land. That was a pure land. Yes. When I was in Japan, I went to Yagi-san's apartment in near to Ikebukuro in uh, near to Ikebukuro, yes. And after I paid the money, I asked, Kagi Onegishimas, can, can I have the key, please? And he said, Kagi! <laughs> Yagi-san was, Kagi! <laughs> Yagi-san is the Sacho-san, the president of that apartment. You're saying, Key! I said, why? He said, here nobody locks the door. I'm for a second. Sure. This is Maitreya's pure land. Everybody in India was asking for Ramarajya, Ramarajya. Ramarajya means there are no doors and nobody need to lock it. <laughs> you don't need to lock it because uh, the moment you lock it with your borrowed knowledge, you won't bore to touch the feet of your parents, touch the feet of the, uh, of the bumi of our land. I have seen the Pope, the Christian Pope from the Vatican, wherever he travels, he reaches the land, directly goes, does a Shashtanga Namaskar, yes, prostration on the land. Land is very important to tell that I and the land becomes one. Once you know that the land is very good. Lakshmi Vingresh took me to um, UB's, uh, that is uh, United Breweries, Vijay Malaya stud form in Kunigal where we wanted to buy Winnebago bricks, which has started the company, 198-year-old uh, Europe country, uh, company, I started the brick factory in near to Stud Farm. So when we went inside, uh, of course, uh, Lakshmi English made arrangements for me to see the Stud Farm. They took very good care, beautiful Stud Farm. <laughs> and there are many horses is kept it. All these are the uh, champion horses. They kept it for crossing. Uh, for breeding purposes. So when we near, went near the horses, the person came running to me and told, don't touch them directly. You have to first show your hand. And if he smells it, he's okay. Then only you can touch. Smell is very important. Yep. Even for the animals, the Pope, when he comes, does shashtag, touching the floor. Yes. When you do a shashtag, the stomach goes in the basket. The waste basket is out. Don't carry a waste basket. <laughs> Pure land. In a dream, Kyosan went to Maitreya's pure land. He recognized himself seated in the third seat in the abode of Maitreya. Someone announced, today the, the one who sits in the third seat will preach. 
Kyosan rose and hitting the gavel said, The truth of Mahayana teaching is transcendent. Above words and thought. Do you understand? It's above words and thought. Our Sanskrit, above words and thought. Our mother and father, above words and our brother and sister, above words and thought. Our Kudumba, Abhyukta Kudumba, Vamsha Vriksha, our family, the joint family and family, or above words and thoughts. <laughs> you see them. You don't have to think whether I should hug them. The hug happens of its own. The kiss happens of its own. You intend to eat and then give one into their mouth too. Yes, you eat from the same plate. Take parts together, laugh together. You never segregate. You never dissect any word coming from the mouth of the wife. Is all words coming from the mouth of your wife is a a song, a music, we call it Carnatic music in this enemy. Anything coming from the mouth of your husband is gospel of truth. They don't dissect. Same when we go to the family, they might be from this party or that party. They go to this religious party or the, they go to that political party. But our, our, our love is only for our people. Once you understand that the truth of Mahant is transcendent above words in thought, the truth of your Family teaching, truth of your family tree teaching is transcended above words and thought. Do you understand that? If you understood, together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunk. Uh, you do not have to be sent to hospital every now and then. You are healthy because Maitre is pure land. Is no kagi, no ki. It is pure. In the purity. Truth prevails, and in the truth, you recite the God. <laughs>